Welcome to Driver Training. In today's video, we're going to give you the top 10 tips for staying safe when driving in the snow. Before we do though, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. At this time of year, when the weather forecasters mention there's going to be snow, we all have that old, nostalgic or romantic view of what the snowfall is going to be like. But in reality, as a driver, this could well be the view that you face. Added to that, it's the conditions of the treacherous roads and in general just not being able to get going. And once you get going, um, you face not being able to get going. But in the main, you can enjoy driving in the snow and we're going to give you some tips to help it stay that way. So here are the top tips to help you stay safe when driving in snow. When defrosting the car of the morning, many people start the car, leave it running and go back inside, which may seem like a clever way to make your car comfy. But you know, you actually invalidate your insurance. The reason is every insurance policy has what's called a duty of care, which means you have to take reasonable steps to protect your property. And leaving your car running with the keys in the ignition really isn't doing that. So no insurance company will actually pay out. If lumps of snow fall onto your windscreen or onto another car and cause a problem, you can be penalised for using a motor vehicle in a dangerous condition. Driving a car in a dangerous condition comes with a £2,500 fine. So to avoid that, make sure all snow is cleared. The Highway Code states that before you set off, you must be able to see, so you need to clear all snow and ice from your windows. And no, peering through a small hole in the windscreen is not good enough. You need to get the snow and the ice off and demiss the windows. You should really do the same with the mirrors and the headlights as well. Every glass panel that you need to see from, even the headlights and taillights, need to be cleaned of ice and snow to ensure that you're within the law. The RAC even adds that the Highway Code stipulates that if you're driving in adverse conditions, you must by law be able to see out of every glass panel in your vehicle. This also means ensuring your windscreen is de-iced on the outside and thoroughly demisted on the inside. Did you know that driving without a readable number plate can land you with a thousand pound fine? As a driver, you can be accused of purposely trying to avoid the detection of speed cameras by keeping them covered over.
You can be fined up to £1,000 for failing to switch your headlights on when you're driving. That means not just using the daytime running light, but the headlights, which means your tail lights, help the cars behind. If you're stuck in traffic jams or just get stuck on the road and break down, if you break down, your car needs the battery power for the hazard lights and perhaps side lights. It won't charge your phone. So it's always good to have a spare battery bank along with you. So if that does happen, you can still activate the Rescue Services app and keep loved ones informed of how things are going. Even on the shortest journey, you can be stuck in a queue for hours. The last thing you want is to see that fuel disappear and your heating and engine stop. Another good idea is to have winter screen wash already in your bottle. Something down to perhaps minus 15, minus 20. If not, the wind chill in cold weather can make your windscreen wipers freeze over, which means effectively they stop clearing the windscreen and you just can't see properly what's ahead of you. You don't want that to happen so that you have to keep stopping to de-ice them. If you're stuck in traffic for quite a while, or just the fact that you turn onto a road where you simply can't get going, then it's good to have some provisions at hand. Snow boots or Wellington boots can come in useful because if you do need to get out, they're a lot better than just wearing a pair of trainers. So what else can you keep in your emergency kit? Well, how about a warm drink and some emergency food, high energy snacks? Again, if you're stuck in a long traffic jam or even stuck in a car park and can't get out, having a hot drink to hand will really help the situation that you're in. If your car does break down, realistically, you may have to spend at least a couple of hours waiting for recovery. And of course, with no engine running, you're going to have no heat in the car. By having an extra coat, some blankets in the car to provide that warmth, along with your warm drink, it's going to make it a lot more bearable. If you do break down, conditions on the road are not going to be good. The more warning you can give other drivers that your car is just sitting there, the safer you're going to be. And a warning triangle provides that safety measure that you need. And of course, if you carry a tow rope, Whoever comes to your rescue, in whatever shape or form, has a way of pulling you to safety as quickly as possible. We hope you've enjoyed our video on keeping safe in the snow. Why not leave us a comment, tell us what you think. And don't forget to check out our other video about driving tips for driving safely in the snow. My name's Chris, thanks for joining us at Driver Training. Remember to drive safe and we'll see you all again soon.